Caronets are something I have fallen in love with. They're very unique. They're highly functional, yet they're elegant and exquisite, and each one is different. Tenkara nets seem to adorn Tenkara anglers throughout Japan. Sitting on their side, or sitting on their back, completely out of the way, yet very easy to reach, and ready to cradle a fish when it is caught. The net serves an important function in the sport angler arsenal. He'll, cr he'll cradle the fish out of harm's way and make the experience very easy. Yet, each net is extremely unique because it is given to the maker by nature. It comes from one single branch of a tree. The diameters, the angles have to be found to be proper for the Tenkara net. After the maker has found his branch, he'll cut it, he'll dry it for perhaps over a year, and he'll shape it according to his will. Each Tenkara net is going to be extremely different because each one comes from a unique branch. The maker has to work with the flaws of the wood, but at the same time, he is a craftsman. He takes the branch from the woods and he makes it according to his own will, to his own artistry. So I went to meet a Tenkara net maker and learn directly from him. And that's where I met Mr. Yukihiro Yoshimura. Mr. Yoshimura is a master of its craft, a master Tenkara net maker, one of its kind in Japan. Nobody's ever attained the skills of his nets in perfection. Even though he works with the branches as they're given to him by nature, he does perfect them. He corrects any flaws that he doesn't want to be there. He accepts flaws. Those are parts of Tenkara nets, but not if he doesn't think they're fit. <laughs> Mr. Ikuhiro has never given an interview. He's got multiple requests from NHK and other Japanese TV stations, but he's never felt comfortable doing it. His entire reputation has rested on his craftsmanship. The word of mouth and the reputation of his products has stood the test of time over 45 years. I was lucky enough to get to meet him and spend a couple of days learning how to make Tenkara nets and his history, along with his daughter, who has been helping in the shop for, I believe, about 15 to 20 years now. <laughs> in 2011, I had the honor to spend two days with Mr. Yoshimura learning the craft of Tenkara net making. While I wish that I had the opportunity to spend more time with him, those two days were invaluable. I hope his legacy will never be forgotten and I want to ensure him that his craft is never lost to time.